What's up guys, on today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and checking out the newest Scan Gauge 3. I've always wanted to get my hands on one of these Scan Gauges and all of my buddies on my last trip had versions of this. I just never really got around to it, so I finally jumped on the bandwagon and I'm excited to get one of these installed on my vehicle today. Now, there are definitely different reasons why somebody would want a Scan Gauge on their vehicle. I'm not gonna cover all that in this video, just some of the main reasons why I got it. So one of the main reasons why I got it is basically to see the important readings that are not easily accessible in my car, which is the transmission temperature, all the tire TPS info, all on one customizable color display. The most important thing that I really like about this is that it has trip details. I love statistics. I love knowing how my car is performing. So that data is invaluable to me. The, the data that you get from your car, it's not real time. The, the MPG that you get, it is not real time. It is consolidated over time. So this gives me real live scenarios where I can see and monitor my fuel consumption, the alcohol level in my fuel. There's a lot of things and monitors that this will do for you. So if you're into data and you wanna see how your car performs, this might be for you. And the newest Model 3, it has the biggest display yet. It has, the, all, it has all the bells and whistles. Um, it, it covers all the things that people complained about in the past, which is like the updates that you have to remove it, get it updated before you install in the computer. This is now Wi-Fi up, updated. So it comes with all the bells and whistles that you can get. It's all in one and it even has an easy mount for you to use. Now, one of the things I was hesitant about getting this big display here is the ability to put this on my windshield. I currently have a heads up display on my car, which is right here. And I was worried that once I have the monitor set up here, that I'm not gonna be able to see it. So I kind of pre-mounted it just to see how it looks like, and it will work for what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed. I'll run you guys through the UI display, and then let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy, guys. All right, guys, let's try and check out the box before we do the unboxing. Again, this is a Scan Gauge 3. There's different versions that are smaller in display, but this has all the bells and whistles. Works on 1996 vehicles or newer. Let's go in and turn the box around. There's a phone number here, so I'm pretty sure the support's got to be pretty good. Website's right there. If you look into the back, it shows that there are 16 million colors, so you're you're definitely able to customize this to your preference. It has free Wi-Fi updates. That's a really nice feature. Um, it helps you monitor your driving and helps increase your fuel economy. You have real time knowing how much you're using so you can lay off that pedal if you need to. It has a automatic X gauge configuration for your specific vehicles. So once I get this set up, I just need to search up for my Toyota Foreigner and it should know a lot of the, a, a lot of the settings. Um, visual and audible alarm so you can set that up to customize and give you alarm, re alarm reader meetings when you need it. It has up to nine gauge displayed all at once into one simple UI. So you can, you can have all your favorite readings all on one display, which is really nice. You can read and actually clear your engine lights here. So if you get any warning lights, this is also some, something to help you diagnose what's going on here. And the best part about this, it is a plug and play feature. Super, super easy, guys. So let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Okay, so this is the OBD2 cable that plugs into your OBD2. Kind of like an ethernet plug right here. This plugs into the back of the scan gauge. All right, this is going to be the suction mount for your window. got a cleaning pad as well as a magnetic mount this goes on be behind this unit here so you just attach this here and you're able to remove and um, move around the display if you need to so that's nice give you a nice cleaning pad so that everything sticks we got your instruction booklet of course the moment we're waiting for, it is going to be the actual scan gauge. 
there you have it guys a pretty big and nice display definitely the ones that are predecessors to this one is a lot lot smaller but this is a good display with a lot of settings so we're gonna get this installed guys this is how thick it is now for the time being i'm just going to go ahead and get this installed i'm not going to worry much about wiring it nicely i'll worry about that after i get it installed because i'm mainly doing this to show you guys how easy it is to install and setting this display up so this is the swivel mount that is included for the windshield let's go ahead and put that here we're going to push that in and let's go ahead and tighten the swivel with the magnetic base all right you can angle this swivel this this locks into place once it's on the windshield all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and mount this right onto the top corner right here the main thing why i'm doing this is i want to preserve the heads up display so if the heads up display wasn't there i would definitely sit this closer to the windshield but since it's right there i want this display right here so i can still use the heads up display i think this is a pretty good spot for me right here so all i'm going to do is i'm going to prep the wiring right here, or not the wiring but i'm going to go ahead and prep the 3m and i'm just going to lay it right there again let me just double check that this is the exact spot that i want which it is so i so i can just stick it once let's go ahead and stick it right this section right here boom right there and it's gonna stick right here so that's where I want it again I will worry about the wires later I'm just gonna head, go ahead and sh get this installed first so let's go ahead and peel this off make sure that this is tight and let's check the position yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. It doesn't block my air duct. My heads up display is still visible when I'm driving, which is the main thing. So that overall looks pretty good to me as far as the positioning. Next thing I'm going to do is get this installed. So very, very easy guys. All right, here it is. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this back. Let's just plug it right here. Boom. Lastly, let's go ahead and get this installed. Now to get to your OBD2, it's basically right here. Super simple. You just literally plug it right in. I will clean all that wire up later. We're just gonna go ahead and get it installed first. All right, so it's right there. Your OBD2 plug is right here. So you're just capping it off. So let's line it up. All right, it's shoved in. It's tight. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. We'll get it reconfigured. Oh, there you go. It's already powered on. I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the car. Okay, let's set it up. Uh, let's run through it. Yeah, why not? You can adjust the brightness with two fingers. That's pretty cool. You can change the gauge by pressing on the gauge that you want to change. So we don't need all that. Those are the scroll gauges. Let's just click finish. This concludes the tutorial. Would you like to display the tutorial? No. And then we're gonna go ahead and do more. Let's do a setup. Ooh, nice colors. That's a brightness, dimness. Ooh, that's very nice. I don't want it too bright. 
I don't want it to um, get into my view, but let's go ahead and change. Tank size, 23 gallons. 23 gallons. Engine size, 4.0 for the foreigner. Gas is gas. Let's go ahead and units. Fahrenheit, distance in miles, gallons, PSI, dollar amount. Um, this is everything's good right here. Anything else to adjust? Um, fuel cutoff, fuel flow, horsepower, volume, fuel in tank, fuel price. So once you set up your price, um, that will calculate how much you're spending. Um, anything here, update, no. Wi-Fi update, no, don't need to. Um, more. X gauge. Auto scan. Toyota, Lexus, Scion, start scanning. I wasn't quite able to finish this video yesterday. I ran into a slight hiccup. Um, I've had this installed for about a day now. I went ahead and did do a fresh uh, refill and I went ahead and got that calibrated so that's pretty cool. I actually get to see some of these figures and it's quite shocking. Sometimes even sitting idle at a light could be about 50 cents which is really crazy. But anyways, uh, I, wanted, I ran into a quick hiccup. So what's happening is, uh, let me show you guys right here. When I set up my X gauge and I am trying to do an auto scan, I am Toyota, oops, there you go. And then I'm gonna select that, start scan. This is what I'm getting. It's happening, I can't get it to get to the next level. But the nice thing is, I reached out to the customer support and what they asked me was if there was something plugged into the OBD um, plug, which there is, which is my heads up display. So what I'm gonna go ahead and try to do is take out the heads up display port there. I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in the scan gauge by itself, let it calibrate. Hopefully if it's calibrating, I can just replug everything back in and there's a way to communicate with the scan gauge. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. I'm kind of glad that I ran into this hiccup. So if anybody's running into this problem, here, this is a good tutorial for you guys to follow. So let's go ahead and try to remove the heads up display all right i went ahead and unplugged the heads up display all right let's go ahead and try the x gauge again toyota all right so I finally got it to start reading everything. Uh, I had to plug it in and out, but it's finally showing some readings for the X gauge. So what the mistake I did earlier was it just clicking save. So what you wanna do is click select all and then save. There you go. So we'll do regular gauge. And now let's say I want to change that. I can use the X gauge. There you go. So I can go ahead and choose my transmission temperature there you go all right now I can go ahead and change uh, this is going to be like my f a basic fuel one I'm gonna go ahead and set the third page to kind of like my tire information for the time being so let's just go ahead and do tire one How should I do it actually? Let's just go ahead and do tire one and then tire two. I know that the PSIs are definitely not regulated right now, so I'm gonna fix that up later. All right, there you go, those are my tire. So I'm gonna mess around with the layout, but again, it shows how easy it is to move everything around. Uh, so far, I've tested it 
on again short distance and it's been pretty cool with showing me some stats even me getting parked here uh, with my AC on I, for about five minutes I've already drained a quarter so in reality it's nice to have all these settings but it's also shocking to see how much I'm spending on fuel uh, let me know if you have the other questions um, everything did plug back in my head up display is still working I did mention something that was incorrect. It wasn't my head of display that was blocking the OBD monitor or the OBD plug. It was actually the um, automatic window roll down module that I had. So I disconnected it. I installed it. Everything looks pretty good now. Let me know what you guys think. I'll have a link below. Catch you guys on the next one.